Time is the enemy of memory. And so it would seem that as some of these Goliaths, such as Marvel and DC and Star Trek and Star Wars, they've been around for such a long time. But yet they have the battle of time against them. And with the battle of times comes the erosion of what they once were. And it is my hope that someday one of the fantastic story writers, or possibly not so fantastic, but still good story writers that I cover on this channel, on my Wednesday show, becomes like them and rises to the absolute peak of storytelling and societal influence and honestly that would be really cool for me because like hey i you saw it here i was the drink was crazy it was here i was the guy i shouted it out first well ladies and gentlemen in the hope to shout these people out first welcome to wednesdays where i shout out as many creators as i can now today i have decided i'm actually going to shout out two creators not in the same video I'm actually going to record a video and set it up and get it ready to post for Thursdays in my attempt to give more to the community that has supported me so strongly. So ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, I've made my pick and I just came across this about 15 seconds before I started recording because that's how I do this. That's how I choose who I'm gonna cover on my Wednesday recordings. And ladies and gentlemen, Without any further ado, we come over here to Twitter, which in most instances is a hellscape, but not this day. This day we have Joseph Kellogg. He says, I'm working on a sequel to Life Support, a sci-fi medical mystery adventure about a, miss, about a missionary treating aliens in a war zone. That sounds like a really, really interesting story and depending on their wording and how they do it this is something that i think could be really really cool so life support secret operations by joseph l kellogg man i wish i had a cool like what punchy name like that i'm just royce Roy, royce saint and that's i don't know but anyway let's get into it life support secret operations so, Life Support Secret Operations, it can be bought in Kindle format over here on Amazon. All right, by Joseph L. Kellogg. Make sure that all of you are looking at all of this. You can see here. And it says here, Father Tanner treats the sick and injured on a dusty backward planet. Desperate for supplies, he takes a job uh, to treat and visit alien to treat a visiting, sorry, alien official teaming up with Damien Rogers, an out-of-work smuggler, to get him there. The problem? They're on the wrong side of enemy lines in the middle of a Cold War. Forced to hide their identities, Father Tanner and his team are stumped by the bizarre uh, patient whose condition steadily worsens. To make matters worse, the alien crew catches on to the ruse and the missionary is forced to turn to kidnapping. Can they find the diagnosis before their only bargain chip dies on the operating table? Wow. Oh, if that's not, if that isn't a hook, then I've never heard a hook before. Let's blow this image up here. Oh, fantastic. And we do get the first few pages of life support secret operations. Joseph L. Kellogg is a chemist living in Tennessee with his wife and two corgis. Oh, good sir. Fantastic. I love you. You can see more of this story at josephlkellogg.com. Well, we're going to click on that here in just a second. This story is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to real persons or events are pure, pure, purely coincidental. Well, sir, if there happens to be a streamer on there, who happens to drink too much beer while they stream. I know it was about me. <laughs> All right, so let's just read a little bit. Father Tanner pulled back the torn flaps of the of sun beaten, pulled back the torn flap of sun beaten skin and probed into the wound with his forceps. Deeper blood oozed from the injury, from the injury, washing over the dried blood 
that coated the nearby skin, which was mottled with sand and dust. The nurse on the other side of the table suctioned away the blood with a plastic tube stained with years of repeated use. That is not sanitary. But aside, I actually like the way that they set up this scene. A curtain hung to Tanner's side, shielding the patient's face from view, but he still heard the patient's moan of pain through the gritted teeth. Tanner threw up a quick prayer for forgiveness for the pain he was causing as he operated. A stick clamped in between the teeth of the poor sub of the teeth was a poor substitute for anesthetic, but it was all they had at this point. Ooh. That's a really good way to set up a first chapter, but let's do this. Let's open up Joseph L. Kellogg's website, which this will be linked in the description below. So you can go here. You can browse the catalog. He's got books over here. This is obviously life support blood pressure, which is another one. Fantastic. I love that we have so many creators out here creating new and interesting stories. And to be perfectly honest, as soon as I read the synopsis on Twitter, I thought that this was going to be just an interesting take to see the missionary, the like a sci-fi missionary. Not a lot of people are telling stories like that almost at all. And that absolutely caught my attention. But so for those of you out there, Blood Pressure, Joseph O'Kell, Old Magic Task Force, book one is another book of his that you can order on Amazon, order from other retailers, order direct from the author, which I would always recommend ordering direct from the author on Joseph L. Kellogg's website. Uh, Life Support Secret Operations, obviously the one that we just read that first paragraph from, which was absolutely fantastic, and more things in heaven and earth. A fictional detective is brought to life, and now he's being... Hunted by an old foe, a bank robbed by a gang of zombies, but one of them has a strange connection to the criminal underworld. A famed explorer of the ancient world stumbles into a conspiracy in the Far East. Can his magical gifts unravel the mystery before it's too late? These stories and four more are waiting to take you to worlds of adventure. It includes three tie-in stories to my novel featuring the characters from Blood Pressure and Life Support. So they are doing an entire universe here where, ooh, man, this, this sounds really, really cool. Actually, this, so this, this gives me, uh, so fifth element vibes and also, oh, what is the other, there's a movie out there that I was thinking of, um, a minute ago when I was reading that first, uh, paragraph. Oh, it gives me fifth element vibes crossed with, oh, I, oh, it's not coming to my mind anymore because I wanted to get through it. But ladies and gentlemen, this sounds like an absolutely fantastic concept for a novel. Now, it all depends on how Joseph L. Kellogg decides to word everything and make everything, you know, happen. But so far from reading that first introduction where they're behind enemy lines they're treating patients. They're going out there and they're trying to just heal people who need it in a fantasy setting, in a sci-fi fantasy setting, in a, just a just a setting in a world away from our own. This sounds like it could be the right antidote to the pressures that we live in life. And so therefore, the man who is writing about missionaries trying to heal other people might actually be able to give us stories that heal just a little bit of what we go through in the daily life by giving us some fantastic escapism. So for those of you out there who are interested, I would, I would say, check this out. They are on Amazon, but I would recommend going to josephlkellogg.com and supporting him directly and buying from him directly. Why? Well, because then Amazon doesn't get their grubby little hands on your money. And to be perfectly honest, the reason that I picked this one to be the video that I wanted to do today is because of that synopsis. That sounds like a movie. That sounds like something that I would go absolutely and click and watch. Like, 
if this if this does not wet your whistle well then maybe the next creators that i do that i cover will but to be perfectly honest a man out there to just try to heal people to try to help people but caught between enemy lines there's some political drama there there's definitely some uh uh expediency in the story i think that this sounds like a really great premise for a story and for just being a first impressions may i say to you joseph l kellogg and that is not a bad slow clap that is me saying you definitely got me hooked and i may have to check this out when i catch up on all of my reading materials so ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this Wednesday video where I shout out the creators that I can. Tune in, I'm guessing about 3 p.m. on Thursday, December 8th to see the next creator that I cover. I am doing my best that I can to make sure that I am shouting out all of these fantastic creators. I'm doing my best to make sure that not only am I shouting out all of these fantastic creators, but also providing a level of content out there uh, to everybody checking out this channel that makes them, well, have enough content to check out. Maybe if they want more Drink With Crazy. If you want less of Drink With Crazy, that's not gonna happen. You can just, you know, uh, I'm not going away. But for everybody out there, I want to say this. Whether you like what I'm doing or hate what I'm doing, I want you to comment down below. Let me know because I dedicate a special live stream every single Sunday to all of the comments on my channel. At least as of right now. If, who knows? If I grow to a crazy point, it'll be dedicated to some of the comments on my channel. But for right now, Sundays, 11 a.m. Central Time, we do Sunday coffee. I get my coffee cup. And I sit there and I have some fun with you guys while I read all of your comments. So comment down below. And if you want to hear my thoughts on your comment, maybe you hey, man, have you thought about this? Did you think about that? Check out other videos of mine. Go comment there. Maybe you just have some off the wall thing that you want me to say. It's got to be YouTube friendly, though. For, 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 for reasons. But go and comment down below. Let me know whether you liked this video, hated this video. And if you are checking out this video this book the, this this author i think this sounds like a fantastic premise and never forget to ch also come back 8 p.m central on friday nights we do iron age nights where we pull in some fantastic authors movie directors movie creators i'm hoping to get some game developers in the future if i can find any of them and even musicians who are just writing music saying you know what we're just doing it to do it and that's Iron Age Nights, 8 p.m. Central on Friday. And this Friday, we have the one, the only, and I had to traverse through the Inferno, similar to Dante. I had to call up Virgil, had to have him take me there. But I was able to get Literature Devil. That's right, the Literature Devil on Iron Age Nights this Friday to talk about Doc Alpha his newest crowdfund that he is working on. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Go click the link in the description below. That is where you can find this fantastic, fantastic book. If, if, if it's as good as, if it's as good as, as the premise, you can go and support Joseph L. Kellogg over on josephlkellogg.com. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.